at CDX and joined by Dr. Roger Scaletti. Roger, you just dissected an udder, a cow's udder, live here at the uh, at the CDX. Uh, tell us, what can you learn when you dissect a cow's udder? Well, the whole purpose is just showing everybody where milk actually comes from and seeing some of the structure, uh, the teat end, the teat canal, how you can keep bacteria out. Keratin lines the teat canal, tries to help keep bacteria out. That opens up into the teat cistern and then the gland cistern and the milk ducts. Uh, most of the milk is up in the secretory tissue before the cow comes into the parlor. So that whole concept of milk letdown, we need to have hormones released from the brain that will go to the udder to cause muscle to contract, to squeeze the alveolus. So basically the whole point is just showing folks where milk comes from. Uh, some of the pictures I'd have in our presentation would show mastitis gone wrong. Our udder today was actually pretty good. We found a healthy quarter due to the time constraints we couldn't open up all four quarters and look around. But just show everybody where milk comes from and in some of the pictures what mastitis would look like um, and how that you know, relates to poor production, elevated cell count, uh, somatic cell count, and, and some things like that. So talk to, um, I guess, the farmers watching. I mean, we've all seen, you know, swollen quarters, mastitis, what it looks like on the outside. What does a swollen quarter, you know, a mastitis riddled quarter look like when you open it up? Well, when you open it up, you know, if you think mastitis, somatic cell count, somatic cells are just an accumulation of our white blood cells. So the mammary gland has to move white blood cells from the blood into the udder to fight the infection. So when you open it up, it, you know, you may find something that looks like cottage cheese in there. Well, that's actually an accumulation of white blood cells that are there to fight the infection. If the cow was still alive and you were milking her, that would show itself as clots or flakes in the milk. Um, so those are some of the things that you'd, you'd see once you cut the, cut the quarter open and what mastitis would look like. You might find some fluid uh, from, from the, some of the swelling, but it's all the, the body's immune response uh, to inflammation that moves fluid in. Uh, heat is a, a tactic to kind of make the environment unpleasant for bacterial growth. So if you feel the quarter and it's hot, uh, sometimes when it's hard, that's because that tissue underneath there, it's actually, you know, it's no longer secretory tissue, it's scar tissue, and it's actually just hard, and it's not, you know, making milk, and it's tough to get milk to move through it. Right. Now, um, final question, I guess, you know, what's the, you open up, I guess, a heifer's udder compared to a, a third, fourth lactation or a, a cow. What does that look like? Well, it would look pretty, pretty similar. Basically, the outside is where you'd see the difference, uh, gen the size of the udder, size, length of the teats, things of that sort. But inside the cow, it's going to look the same. Whether she's 10 years old or 2 years old, healthy-looking udder tissue is the same appearance. Um, you know, it, there's not going to be too much difference in your tissue uh, appearance in a healthy udder and again the mastitis mastitis case is going to look the same no matter the age of the cow so it's tough visually to look at the udder and, and see differences you know farmers are familiar with looking at the udder attached to the cow uh, the one thing you can see is as that median suspensory ligament breaks down over time, you'll lose that udder cleft that you have from the left half to the right half, that nice kind of, you know, that upward, um, you know, cleft. And if the udder floor becomes smooth, that's a sign of that median suspensory break ligament breaking down as the cow gets older. But inside the udder, it pretty much looks the same no matter the age of the cow. Well, a fascinating uh, tour through an udder. Thank you for your time. Thank you, sir.